Hello everyone and welcome to the recap of Deathstream82. Today's stream was mostly about bug fixes and the recently found bugs from update 14.1. Dream introduced a new member of the Vigor team who has been a Q&A tester for the past 7 months. Witchy, the nickname of the new tester, talked about her experiences with testing bugs and her job at Bohemia. Michael, the senior technical designer, gave an in-depth talk about how complicated the bugs can be and how hard it can be to find them. Bugs, finding them and fixing them was the general topic of the stream. This of course led to the major disappearing ammo bug becoming a topic. The developers are looking to fix this as a top priority and they will be fixing it with a hot fix as soon as they found the issue. The bug seems to be very complicated as it gets triggered by different scenarios. Another bug that should be fixed soon is the absence of crows when two people are near an exit. This happens when a player spawns in the exit area and does not leave the exit zone. The crows do not get triggered then, but a fix for that is incoming. A booster period is coming next week for encounters from March 22 to March 24, Wednesday to Friday. And new St. Patrick cosmetics should be hitting the shop soon. I have no idea when this holiday occurs, but the green stuff is coming. The removal of Legacy Seasons after Season 15 was mentioned again, and this will be the earliest we will see new shelter facilities. The LMG issues were mentioned as well, and the developers pointed to the major weapon overhaul that is coming this year for further balance. Crossplay between PlayStation and other consoles is still far away it seems. Same for a native build for PS5, which means PS5 will remain at 60 FPS, and there is no intention for a PC port at this point in time. The changes to the crates were brought up as well, the developers pointed to their previous stream and the YouTube shorts they've been putting out for the explanation about it, and they will probably make a dedicated video about it as well. Personally, I'm fine with the crates. Did they get nerfed? Yes, let's be honest about that, they did get nerfed. But ask yourself, is the nerf justified? In my opinion, it is. The gold crates were way too good compared to the rest of them. And even the purple ones were really really good for weapons. And you can't expect the developers to improve the game without cutting some stuff here and there. Gold crates used to be a rare thing, but with the change to elimination they became very very common. And that's something the devs were fine with. But they were too good. What did the devs do wrong is the time and communication around it. First off, they waited a whole year to rebalance them, while people were just farming them in the elimination. Second, every time somebody mentioned how bad elimination crates were, they dismissed it and said that elimination crates draw from the same pool as gold and purple crates did. While gold and purple were obviously a lot better. And third, they should have announced it beforehand instead of just making the switch and then casually throwing it on the patch notes. But I do think this change is good in the long run. Weapons are more spread out, you can get more weapons from an elimination crate now, but less from gold and purple. So yeah, the amount has been reduced on gold and purple, but do we really need to get 100 weapons every 2 or 3 days? Do we really need that many weapons? I don't think so. And consumables were added. And that is a great aspect to help new players compete with the veterans. They now have risk-free access to plates and ports and all the other top tier consumables without having to grind out their shelter first. And this is going to help Vigor in the long run to expand their player base and keep it. And we need that. And people seem to be throwing games less in elimination and are focused less on fixing the score. So it's not that bad. Is it a nerf? Yes, but it's justified as well. They should have just done it a lot sooner. Alright, that pretty much covers the stream for today. The next stream will be on April 5th, so expect the next recap then as well. Be sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss it. Thank you all for watching, and see you all next video. Bye!